Right. And I'm interested, what do you say when people ask you, as I'm sure they do, about the animals, you know, the logistics of the animals? Do it, How literal, I know you said before that you um, you take the Bible's wording on it and sometimes the Bible is very brief, uh, but like yeah. how literal do you take the story of Noah's Ark with regards to the animals? Yeah, so um, again, as you mentioned, and we were talking earlier about the Bible not giving all the details, um, you know, studies have been done about like how many animals, I think it was even in a peer, peer-reviewed article about could Noah's Ark float, which is, a, I think, in physics um, journal. And um, I use it in my talk, but basically the students, I don't know if they were believers in the Bible, but they were trying to show that animals the size of sheep, I think they're saying a couple of million could be in the, in the uh, I remember a couple hundred thousand variety, like if you had the size of a sheep as the average size. Um, there's a lot of questions. We don't know. Uh, how old the animals were? Were they just uh, like small ones that you know fit them in there? D- uh, were they uh, all adults or huge animals? Um, which you, then you have less animals to fit in the boat. Uh, and, and and today, like here's another example of for the variety of animals. Um, I watched this film on uh, a documentary film on Netflix about dogs. And it was showing how all the species, or I should say, the varieties or breeds we have today. Uh, you know, two three hundred years ago, they didn't have that many. And it was all bred because it's different, you know, everyone had a, a look they wanted for a certain breed. And so that now we have all mm. these weird and shaped and sizes of dogs. But <laughs> two, three hundred years ago, we did it. Um, so I don't know when the Bible talks about the different kinds of animals that went on the ark, uh, what all that covered, and you know, what after a flood, how many of those could survive. And again, the ark did not hold like the fish. It, it mentions birds of the air and the, the creepy crawly things and the um, mammals, basically, you know, those that walk on the land, uh, and humans. Um, but uh, regards to everything else, it was outside the boat. Now, it does say everything was destroyed. All life was destroyed. So um, we have to assume that what was on the boat, that kind of restart civilization with what was there. So um, it's difficult. There are things where I'm just willing to accept by faith that it happened. I don't know the exact logistics of, and I, and for me, I love trying to figure things out. It's like a puzzle. So maybe well, if the site's ever excavated and we can see the layout of everything, that'll give us an idea of how many animals were brought on uh, and what that could mean for what the Bible says. Uh, right now, you know, it's speculation, but uh, though the Bible for sure does say that, you know, those that went out of the ark survived and everything else outside that was not fish or whatever um, died. So, 